Hello, my friends. I'm Jeff Matthews, CNY Weathertainment Meteorologist. You get the most accurate, educational, fun forecast you can find. I encourage you, again, tell a friend or a neighbor about this. Don't assume they know. Don't assume they won't care. Weather is fun. People want an accurate forecast, and you can get it interactively on Periscope, which makes it that much better than TV. Three weather headlines. It's a frosty start to the week for your Columbus Day, but it will turn milder by midweek. There's really no rain in the forecast until Thursday, second half of the day. And the weather pattern, the jet stream, the river of wind aloft that carries weather systems around the globe, it's going to preclude any further thermal cliffs and keep them shorter as well. The next one will come on Friday, but we're already needing to recover out of the one that came in this weekend. So gradually those temperatures are going to incline. 55 for Monday, that's cool. 65 on Tuesday, that's better. Near 70 on Wednesday, but then Thursday and Thursday night comes another cliff, but it should only last for Friday before it begins to recover Saturday into Sunday. Here's the latest one, hugging the coast, waiting for Matthew, extra tropical cyclone now off the Virginia Delmarva coast, to continue to move along its boundary. Then the winds of both the storm and Matthew can drag that front further offshore, which will happen by Monday morning. The high building in brings fair weather, but it's so cool, and it's kind of a shock to the atmosphere locally, that it creates a lot of fair weather clouds, so much so at times it even gets to the point of being mostly cloudy. But as that high gets closer and closer, it'll erase the cloud cover as we go through the day Monday and create a frosty cold night on Monday night into Tuesday morning. But again, the high moving along the eastern seaboard then would get this warmer air that's building across the Rockies and in the Plain states and bring a return wind which will warm us up. Radar shows we're all quiet in the Empire State. Any rain is along the eastern seaboard and departing pretty rapidly. So Monday looks like a frosty cold start but a bright day with just some fair weather clouds, a clear cold night with lows sub-freezing and a sunny day for Tuesday. Let me alert you to the next two nights. Draconic meteor shower. It's a minor one, but it's something worth checking out. You might see something in the skies with clear skies. Here's a look at the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, 62 and 55. I said 66 and 58. Much closer to average. Now, the lows were almost dead on on target. There's your rainfall, 1117 of daylight. Encourage you to go to my website, cnyweathertainment.com, partner page, great deals for your pleasure, and a shout out to Bank of Utica. Other banks in town have their branches, but Bank of Utica has its roots. A chilly start to your Columbus Day Monday with some fair weather clouds by the afternoon, a north breeze, and a high in the mid-50s. Look out Monday night for some meteor showers and some cold temperatures in the low 30s. And a sunny but frosty start to Tuesday. It'll warm up rapidly in the sunshine to the mid-60s. Dry weather through Wednesday and even half of Thursday before the next rain arrives, second half of the day. That's your five-day forecast. Make it a great day.